and how I feel about this nigga talking. Y'all wanna know how I feel about this shit? Calling me in the motherfucking live. First of all, Gucci, bro, Gucci is not. Hold on, let me put my, let me stand this up, so I can explain this shit. These niggas got him fucked up, slaughtering his fucking name. Anybody else probably going to speak on it because don't nobody really give a fuck about Shorty. But one thing I can say, bro, when I signed to Gucci Man, bro, it's like, it's like, bro, it's way better than signing to like a major record label when they own everything, bro. This nigga give you opportunity to be yourself. Record labels don't even let you like do you, bro. They control everything, bro. Gucci Man let, let us be ourselves. This nigga, this nigga, bro, mentally help us advice it's like a it's like a family type of um situation so if you go outside the family and you get on the internet and you just and you just talking about and you talking crazy like oh niggas owe me this niggas getting this bro come on now like what are you doing bro you burnt out Yeah, but one thing I can say, when once I signed to Gucci, I figured that he was going to do that. He real life don't like me. Like, don't like me. So all this, Gucci man owe me money, Gucci man. No, bro, you mad because I'm signed. Let's just be a hundred. Let's be real. Let's be like a, a thousand. You mad because I signed to Gucci man. I'm first lady. And you just couldn't take it. You couldn't take all the posts of us seeing family this and this and that, you couldn't take that shit no more. So you you got mad and you said what you said. But it's not true, bro. But when I signed to Gucci, I made more money than I've made the, my whole time rapping. I'm talking about Lil Walk. When I, when I, once I signed to Gucci, I started making, I started making, I started making money like, the most money I have ever seen my whole like little rap career. I've been making hella money. Everybody on ten seventeen, bro. They they would tell you, bro. Niggas on ten seventeen, we eat. Like Gucci don't got us starving. You think he got us starving? We eat. Everybody eating. Everybody working. Everybody proving themselves. I said Lil Wop. Everybody proving themselves. Everybody doing them. It's, it's the end of the day, bro. As an artist, you got to be an artist. You can't look at the next nigga and be like, bro, I need this. I want this, bro. Niggas do drugs. Niggas, niggas sip lean. Niggas want to stunt. They want to buy all this designer. Niggas really spent all their money. Just to say you spent all your money. Instead of you calling Gucci like a grown-ass man. And as a father figure, how you say. And claim you look up to him instead of calling his phone. There's one thing about Gucci with any of his artists, he's going to answer. I call Gucci all the time, bro. This nigga answer every fucking phone call. He answer every text message. So only thing you could have just hit him, like, I'm fucked up. Like, I need some money or something. Like, instead of going on the internet talking about this weak-ass contract, these niggas making 20%. How a nigga make 20% you don't sell nothing? You don't sell shit. You don't make shit. You never book your music. Nobody knows that shit. The best thing Shorty should have did was just stay the fuck down and then came up and then tried to branch off. You straight disrespected the whole fucking 1017 family. That shit is, that shit lame in the bitch. Niggas really lame. You would think a girl would do that shit. I won't even do that. I'm not even built like that. But one thing I can say, y'all, all of that Gucci man getting 20% Gucci man this Gucci man that bro that shit is a lie this man is mad because I'm signed to 1017 and I'm first lady and I'm over that killing shit period that's what it is and he know he don't like me like he real life don't like me and that's what it is this whole situation has nothing to do with Gucci bro 
This whole, it has nothing to do with him, bro. This man bring me out every fucking time he touches stage, bro. Like, bro, come on now. It ain't even about why he don't like me because, bro, I don't get no fuck about none of that shit, but he don't. He don't like me. And y'all got to understand, before I got signed, everybody was over there. He was over there, like, all, like, 10, 17. He was all with him and shit. As soon as I got signed, bro, you never, you didn't see WAP after that. When I signed, you didn't see him after that. You didn't see that nigga after that. Bitch, you shut up and get off my live. The fuck? Who daddy is you? But yeah, though. I just wanted to clear that all that shit up. That goofy ass shit. Hey, if ain't nobody gonna say nothing, I'm gonna say something. Because we eating. We eating. Everybody eating. Everybody good, nigga. I swear to God, I eat good every day. And my mama got so much cake. So much money, bro. I don't get no fuck, bro. And I'm eating. And I'm never gonna stop eating. So don't let a, don't let that motherfucking nigga put in y'all head that... 1017 got weak ass deals and, and motherfuckers not take care of us, but we took it well, curl. We got the best deals. Niggas don't even get deals like us, bro. We all eat like good. The best deals, bro, go sign to a major, bro. You want to be, you go sign to a major, you go on the internet and say something about them. Nigga, they're going to make you go apologize on the internet, bro. They own you, bro. Why, bro, Gucci give us a platform to be ourselves. We, we we create our own shit, make our own music. He don't force shit on us. He don't say be like this, be like that, bro. The nigga really just be, then he's just a really like a father figure type of shit going on, bro. You either you either gonna learn from him and you gonna make your way, or you just gonna sit around and, act, and expect the nigga to hand you everything who ain't never got shit handed to him. But one thing about it, like, Maul, Quill, they all embrace me. They love me. Like, from the first time I ever signed to Gucci, I felt comfortable. From Keisha to Maul to Quill, Pablo, it just low up. And that's what it is. That's just the truth. The niggas really mad because I signed to Gucci, man. And they fucking love me and they fuck with me heavy. And he just can't take it no more. When I, Even before I signed... I'm like, damn, in my head, I'm thinking like, damn, when I sign a Gucci, me and WAP got to probably squash our beef, but y'all don't probably know about the beef because I am not on the internet talking, but I'm like, um, we probably got to squash our beef. That's what I'm saying in my head. We got to squash our beef. And we just, you know, just keep that shit pushing. He never came around. So we never had a chance to squash nothing. We had never had a chance to talk about shit. But I'm my mama, bro. Everybody eating. 1017, nigga, we eating. Good. Everybody eating, bro. Stop playing. Stop playing, bro. Stop playing with Gucci, bro. Niggas want to do drugs and sip lean. That shit 900 paint, nigga. Niggas going broke. That's all it is. Niggas spending up all their fucking money. How you spend all your money? Pull up in two cars, just like the mile we pulled up, strapped over with them rocks. I be with them hitters, got it, Joe up in the car. Nigga, play gon' knock them off, and we gon' shoot back to BR.